Hello, welcome to class. How are you guys doing? I hope everyone is fine. On today's lesson, we shall be learning about adjectives. Um, but before we get to that, like always, let's recap on our previous lesson. On our previous lesson, we learned about adverbs. And uh, I said that an adverb is a word that describes or modifies a verb, uh, an adjective, or the whole sentence. So that is the function of an adverb in a sentence. Today we are learning about adjectives. And let's look at the definition of an adjective. Look over here. It says, an adjective is a word that describes or modifies a noun a noun phrase or a pronoun, you see. Again, one more time. An adjective is a word that describes or modifies a noun, a noun phrase or a pronoun. Let me explain to you again. An adjective is a word that describes or modifies a noun, a noun phrase, or a pronoun. If you remember correctly, in the previous lesson, we said that a noun is the name of a person, an animal, a place, or a thing. And a pronoun is a word that replaces a noun in a sentence. For example, John is a boy. John is a boy. John is a noun. Is the name of a person. So a pronoun for John is he. So he is a boy. So John is a boy. John is a noun. A pronoun for John is he. And also, we mentioned that an adverb is a word that describes or modifies a verb, an adjective, and also modifies or describes the whole sentence. So an adjective is a word that describes or modifies a noun, a noun phrase, or a pronoun. So let me take this again one more time, OK? An adverb is a word that describes or modifies a verb, an adjective, or a whole sentence, while an adjective is a word that describes or modifies a noun, a pronoun, or a noun phrase. So let's look at some examples here. John is a handsome boy. John is a handsome boy. So we can see that uh, the adjective here, which is handsome, helps to describe John more better, that John is a handsome guy, looking very handsomely. <laughs> Two, Mary is a clever girl. Mary is a clever girl. So the adjective here is clever. Three, my father is a kind person. My father is a kind person. So we can see here that the adjective in this sentence is kind. Four, it is a big hospital. It is a big hospital. So the adjective here is big. <laughs> you can see. And also, you can also see the uh, John is a noun. Mary is a noun. My father is a noun phrase. It here is a pronoun. My father is a noun phrase. 
So let's see. Types of adjectives. There are commonly eight types of adjectives that we use daily when having conversation or when having a conversation. So there are commonly eight types of adjectives that we use daily during our conversation. And the, the eight types of adjectives are proper adjectives. Proper adjectives. We have Thai and then we have Chinese. So these ones are used to describe mostly proper nouns or proper pronouns. So we use the proper adjectives. They are very specific. We have descriptive adjectives. Descriptive adjectives. So we use this one to describe unspecific nouns. For example, fast, strong. The third one is quantitative adjectives. Quantitative adjectives. This one are used to describe quantity, how many or how much. For example, uh, how many books do you have? Or uh, how much milk is in the box? So they are used to describe quantity, okay? Next one, we have numeral adjectives. Numeral adjectives. So numeral adjectives are used to describe numbers, okay, numbers, 10, 20, 150, okay, I have 10 books, she has 20 books, she is 10 years old, so they are used to describe numbers. Demonstrative adjectives, demonstrative adjectives, so they are used to demonstrate, like, uh, that is his book. This is my book. So they are used to demonstrate. The next one, distributive adjectives are words like few, many, each, some. Um, I gave her some candy. I gave her some candy. Okay. She gave me um, a few books. She gave me a few books. Distribute, distribute something. And interrogative adjectives. Interrogative adjectives. This one are used to, like the word says, interrogate, you know, to ask, right, to interrogate others. So we have whose, which, what, okay, like what drink do you want? Whose book is that? Whose pencil is this? So they are used for questioning. The next one is possessive adjectives. Possessive adjectives. This one are used to um, like possess, belong, you know, to say something belongs to me or to you or to, to we and stuff like that. So this one are used to say that things belong to us or to them. So we have my, his, our. So this is my book. It belongs to me. So we mostly use it for belonging, right? Um, that is his house. That house belongs to him. Okay. Um, this is our classroom. This classroom belongs to us. You see, so they are used to specify belongings. So, okay. And the, there are many more examples that you can find in many other books. So I hope you are able to understand this lesson very well. But let's go over the lesson one more time, okay? So like I mentioned at the beginning of this lesson that adjectives are words that describes nouns, okay? They describe noun phrase. And they also describe or modify pronouns. The function of an adjective in a sentence is that it describes nouns, it describes pronouns, it also describes noun phrases.
Okay. So let's look at their definition over here. So we see, an adjective is a word that describes or modifies a noun, a noun phrase, or a pronoun, you see. So like um, in our previous lesson, we mentioned about adverbs, right? Adverbs describes or modifies verbs and adjectives, while adjectives describes or modifies nouns and pronouns. You can get the difference, right? So let me go over it one more time, okay? Adverbs describes or modifies verbs and adjectives, while adjectives describes or modifies nouns and pronouns, okay? Hope you get that very, very clearly, right? So let's look at our example here. John is a handsome boy. So handsome here is an adjective. It helps to describe John. Mary is a clever girl. So clever here is an adjective. So it helps us understand more better about Mary. So it tells us that Mary is clever. My father is a kind person. So kind is an adjective used to describe my father. It is a big hospital. It is a big hospital. So big year is an adjective which we can use to describe this hospital. So let's move on. And uh, I mentioned that uh, in uh, English, there are eight categories or eight types of adjectives that we use um, daily for communication. So there are proper adjectives, like Thai Chinese, you know, they are proper, you know, they, they, they describe uh, nouns that are proper. They, they are very specific, yeah. They describe nouns that are very specific. We have descriptive adjectives. So these ones are unspecific, right? So they describe generally. So we have like fast, we have like strong. We have quantitative adjectives. So this one, they help to describe about quantity, right? How much, how many? So they talk about quantity. Numeral adjectives. So numeral adjectives are used to um, describe numbers, okay? Numbers, 10, 15, 20, 40. So they're used to describe numbers. Demonstrative adjectives. They are used to demonstrate about things, right? So like that, this, those, um, these. Distributive adjectives. So distributive adjectives are used to distribute things, you know. I gave her some candy. I, 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 she gave me um, a few books. Interrogative adjectives are used for questioning. Whose book is that? Whose pen is this? So they are used for questioning. Possessive adjectives are used to the about belongings, it be, possession or possessive, yeah, belongings. It belongs to us, it belongs to them, okay. So we use what like my, his, our, their, and their, many other. So I hope you guys have understood this lesson very well. But in case you do not understand, please leave me a comment in the comment section of this video and I will explain it again to you. And that shall be all for our lesson today. But before we go, please do not forget to um, share this video, like this video, um, follow our Facebook page, join our Facebook community, and most importantly, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. And thank you very much for doing just that. Until next time that we shall meet again, we say thank you and goodbye and peace out.